Every card has its pros and cons, but certain cards are so special that they deserve their own time in the spotlight. Card Spotlight is a multi-part series where we will analyze and discuss some of the most interesting and exciting cards of Artifact. We hope you enjoy this series! Do you enjoy catching your opponents unaware? Suddenly engaging those who least expected in combat? Or perhaps surprising them with your hero's massive damage output? If so, the Winter Wyvern will be right up your alley. This hero, coming from Dota 2, somehow always manages to find herself engaged in epic battles or pillaging loot from castles and libraries. Some breathe fire, I breathe ice. Welcome back to another artifact video with Real Terror. In today's video, we will be focusing on the black hero, Winter Wyvern. We will discuss her lore and impact on Dota 2 and Artifact. Dragons, or Wyverns, are Aviera's favorite in any card game, so I guess it's fitting that he chose this card spotlight to be our first. Winter Wyvern was first introduced back in February 2015 as the new neighbor in the third official Dota 2 comic. Orop, the Winter Wyvern, moved into the keep at the top of Mount Gorod and was eating the villagers' livestock. Riley, the Crystal Maiden, agreed to help the villagers and investigate the missing livestock. She confronts Orop and finds out that she is a poet. The Maiden and Wyvern have a lively argument, but Orop agrees to figure out a more traditional way to eat food and lets Riley take some artifacts as compensation to give to the villagers. Riley also took an arcana called Frost Avalanche for herself. Giving Riley the arcana was not only a sign of friendship, but also a symbol of their alliance. Oroth knew there was a war coming, and even said it herself. It's good to have formidable allies. Winter Wyvern has 6 attack and 6 health. 6 attack is a great number since it can kill most blue and black heroes and do a significant amount of damage to red and green heroes. She also can kill melee creeps and even kill a decent number of creeps with armor. With her active ability, which we will talk about later in the video, she can kill even tankier enemies. With just 6 health, she's a bit squishy, but like other black heroes, she's designed to be a sneaky assassin and bring fire from above, or in this case, ice. In Dota 2, Winter Wyvern is an intelligence hero that brings offensive and defensive abilities to your team. Her active ability grants her unobstructed flying movement and boosts her attack range and projectiles. Winter Wyvern in Artifact isn't so different. The Arctic Burn active ability, which has a short cooldown of just 2, allows her to move to an empty combat position and gives her plus 4 attack this round. It's as if she's soaring through the skies to get to a new position where she can wreak havoc on unsuspecting enemies. This ability can be used defensively if Winter Wyvern is weakened, or she's facing an opponent that's too strong for her to handle. She can also be used offensively to target a specific enemy that you just must destroy. Winter Wyvern has 10 attack during a round in which she triggers her active ability. This means she can kill stronger enemies that she couldn't deal with before. It's usually a good idea to use her active ability as much as possible to make the most out of her attack bonus. Winter Wyvern's ultimate in Dota 2 is called Winter's Curse. It's a single target skill that will freeze an enemy for a few seconds. Additionally, the target's allied units which are nearby will be cursed and attack the target uncontrollably with an increased speed. Similarly, in Artifact, Winter Wyvern's signature card, Winter's Curse, disarms a unit until the end of the round. Winter's Curse, also like in Dota 2, forces the unit's allied neighbors to battle it. This can be very useful if a dangerous target is surrounded by strong allies. The best part about all of this, you get gold for the kill too. This card has the potential to be better than Coup de Gras when you target a hero. Winter's Curse does not force you to discard a random card when you play it, but yet has the same mana cost as Coup de Gras. Winter Wyvern has a lot of survivability with her active ability since she can fly away from danger and find the right enemies to breathe her icy winds on. Personally, I think it's unlikely that she'll spend too much time in the fountain. In my opinion, it's better for Winter Wyvern to come out in the later turns of the game when her active ability can actually help you decide which enemies you want to focus. Winter's Curse is also better in the mid or late game because it's a bit expensive and you would probably want to use it to kill stronger enemies anyway. Currently, Winter Wyvern isn't used in any top tier competitive decks in closed beta. The deck created by Stan Sifka that recently won the closed beta tournament couldn't utilize Winter Wyvern either because the deck focused on early game aggression and gold collection to buy expensive items. The trio of Bounty Hunter, Phantom Assassin, and Sniper just fit better in that deck. Winter Wyvern might not be strong in the closed beta, but I am confident that when the game comes out and more players experiment with the card, that she'll find a home in a deck that can unleash her full potential. 
I can almost guarantee you that Aviera will try it out in the first few days of the release and see how it does. I hope you guys try it out too. That's all for today folks. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let us know in the comments which hero you want us to spotlight next. Thanks for watching and see you next time.